it's Savvy, and today I am going to be showing you part two of make how I make aprons, and yeah, let's get on with it. Okay, so it is the next day. I completed cutting um, everything yesterday, and now today I'm going to actually start sewing the stuff, and... Now I actually do need to get my iron out because I will be doing some ironing for the pockets. Just so you know, I watch a lot, a lot of YouTube while I'm doing this. Anyways, so I got my iron out. I just like to put it right here. And um, make sure you look at your iron and make sure it is set to whatever fabric you're using i recommend using cotton for aprons so i set it to six because i use cotton um so yeah so now i'm going to get the pocket piece which i believe is piece number two for my pattern and i will show you what i do with it then so someone just someone just came to our house and i don't know i think they're looking at our bathroom because we're gonna get it remodeled um so i'm gonna shut up a little bit but basically, I have both piece two pocket pieces. I have two for this one, and this one I know is the adult. They're not, they're the same size, you don't need to add anything. But I know this one's the adult one because it doesn't have the pattern on it, and I took the pattern off of all the adult ones. What you need to do is you need to cut a little slit so that you know where to fold it over at the top. Let me do that right now. If you don't know what a sewing gauge is, it is just this like metal ruler with a slider so that you can mm, hem things. It's mostly used for like hemming things over, which is what we're going to be doing to the pocket. Um, and I'm just going to cut on the line, even though the pattern got kind of ripped. I'm just cutting on the line, if you can see. Let me see. I can show you. You see the line? Snip. Okay. So then, I'm just going to get all of the pins out. You're going to take one of them. If you don't know, the rule of thumb for pretty much everything is right sides together. So you're going to take this and put the right side together when you fold it over on the fold. You're going to fold it over like that, right sides together, because you're going to sew it and then flip it out. And then you're going to iron it just like that. And that's all you're going to do for right now. And then you're just going to repeat for the rest of your pockets. Normally there's only two, but if you're making two aprons, there's four. Multiplication and math. It's awesome. Okay. So now we're going to do some sewing. You're going to take your pocket. And what you're going to do is you're going to sew five eighths. I have um, tape for my sewing teacher, sewing teacher. She puts tape for five eighths. You're just going to do, f or it says on your sewing machine right here. It's mostly covered by the tape, but. So you're just going to backstitch, go down once and backstitch, and then that's it. And then you're going to do the same for the other side, and then you're going to do the same for them all. So. I will show you how to do that in normal mode right now, and then I will show you in fast mode. So, you're going to, I have a backstitch button, but it depends on how your sewing machine backstitches. But you're going to backstitch to the end, go down the fold. My speed control is on a very low setting because I have impatience. Um, if your sewing machine has speed control, um, then you know what that means, but my speed control is on the lower setting, so even if I push down completely on the presser foot, I mean on the foot pedal, then it goes really slow, but, which I hate because I'm so impatient, so I just go really fast, but then you're going to backstitch again, pull it out, and this is, you're going to snip your threads, um, and do the same. On the other side, um, line it up, and then do the same thing, just upside down, pretty much, just because it has to be a certain side for it to work, but yeah.
Okay. And then. for the noise that um he's doing grown-up stuff for my bathroom which i'm really excited about by the way so it's not really grown-up stuff but um yeah i don't mind that anyways um you're gonna take your little sewn thingy and you're just gonna take it up like that and flip it around as you can see and then you're going to take i use my scissors to do this um, I use my scissors, but be careful. Don't cut anything. Um, keep them closed. Um, and you're just going to kind of put them in there and poke. You can see. Um, I just put them in there. And I just kind of poke out the edges. Um, to make them nice and square. Make them nice and cornered. Um, yeah. Oh. And I'm just going to do that to the rest of the pockets. So now, what you're going to do is you're going to iron this little fold over on top just to make it nice and flat. Um, and then you're going to take your sewing gauge, this little metal thingy I was telling you about. You want to set your little blue thingy to 5 eighths. So mine's already there. Um, you just count um, every little line until it says five, which it's normally one after um, a half, unless there it's in sixteenths and not eighths. Um, I don't normally measure this part because it's already kind of there for you. Um, so you're just going to like do that and then do that. Just iron the two sides, and then you're going to go to the bottom, fold it up, and measure. So as you can see, while I'm measuring, um, the little thingies at 5 8 are kind of just like telling me, I don't know how to explain it, but it kind of helps you know where 5 8 is, like, and helps you be pretty accurate. So you're just going to do that for the whole bottom edge, and then you're going to iron it. And then you're going to do this to your second one. This is what it's going to look like in the front. Super cute. Little pocket. And then after this, we are going to sew one more thing on the pocket. And, and then we will attach it to the aprons. On the top of it, the one with the seam on the side that you sewed at the top um, and folded over and stuff. You are going to sew along the edge. You're not following anything. You are just sewing along that edge um, like this. Let me show you. Sew along the edge. And I'm going to go faster. It's so slow. You're just going to go along this edge. Mm. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> Was your Thanksgiving break good? Okay. Just snip your tails. Don't call them tails. Snip your threads. And then... Let me show you what it looks like from the front. From the front, it looks like this. With that seam. You see? On the top. There you go. And then do this for the rest of your pockets. However many aprons you're making. You're probably only making one, so do it one more time. Um, but, you know, each their own. I don't know how many aprons you're making, and I'm not controlling it. Anyways, bye. Alright, guys. So, I'm going to show you how I attach 
the pockets. So, I have my apron pattern piece for the size small that I'm making. As you can see, well, you can't really see because it's like disheveled. Um, uh, it's been used a lot. It says there S, M, and then here it's supposed to say L because large. Um, so basically, you line up the pocket to whatever size you're making. So since this is a small, I'm going to put it, line it up. I'm going to uh, put pins. What you're going to do is you're going to take pins. You take one, poke it through. I like to do the letter. Poke it through the letter on one side. And then take another one. Poke it back through where you poked the other one through. The same way. On the other side. Careful, don't get your fingers. Uh, and let me pull this one. Push that one. There you go. And then I'm going to do the same to this one right here. And then you're just going to take out all the pins from around, around the edges. Have you guys seen Bad Guys yet? I just watched it today. Oh gosh, no. Dude! Bad, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Ugh. As I was saying, have you guys seen Bad Guys? I just saw it the first time today. I liked it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna very carefully um, try not to let the pins fall out, but you're gonna take both sides and you're just gonna peel it open like this. Oh no, all the pins popped out. That is fantastic. Don't let that happen. Be much more careful. What you're going to do after that is you're going to take your pocket and you're going to take the two pins on one side, make them same direction. So then you can lay the pocket out. And then once it's there, you can use the pins to hold it in place and you're just going to pin it more all around. I will show you that when I'm done. Okay, so as you can see, it is pinned both pockets it might be a little hard to see but um you can see it a little bit all i'm gonna say is try your best to make them appear even let me know if i did a good job on that because i don't think i did um they're a little not even angles <laughs> anyways okay so now we're sewing the pockets on, and all you're doing is just sewing around the edge of the pocket. So, I have it right here, and then I'm just going to sew around the edge. Boom, 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 like that. Same with the other pocket. And that is what you're doing right now, and I will do a speed mo of it, and then show you after. <laughs> Hold up, just wanted to interrupt the time lapse. No, I don't have a product launching, but I just wanted to show you how to turn the corners because obviously there are corners. So basically, all you do is you lift up the presser foot and you just turn it, just in case you don't know. Just wanted to show you. And then you can go the other way. <laughs>
Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's done. Obviously, it looks the same. You can barely see the difference. But, um, there's one pocket, if you can see the seam, just along the edge, and over here as well, just, yep. So, the pockets are done, now I'm going to do this one. And then after that, we are going to um, hem the edges right there. Um, it's two days later, the day after Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving and Merry Christmas. We're already getting in the Christmas spirit. So the next step after attaching the pockets is to hem the edges. So you're supposed to hem this edge. If you don't know how to hem, basically what you do is... You fold it over all the way around at 5 eighths um, with your sewing gauge. And then after that, you iron it all, make it nice and flat, and then you tuck it under. So basically, you're going to fold it over. Sometimes the this edge, like on the top, it won't really do it um, correctly. But um, you're just going to kind of do it like this all the way around. You should probably start from the bottom because that makes it a lot easier. And you're just gonna keep going. Do, 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 do. Also, if you didn't notice, my hair is straightened. We straightened it yesterday for Thanksgiving. Mm, I double check. So then there's that. Let it cool a little bit because it's pretty dang hot. Um, and then, um,. You're just going to tuck it under like that. You're, make sure that this, this crease you put in at the edge stays there. Don't do anything to this crease. Just take it, fold it under all the way to the crease so that the bottom of it is touching the crease, and then you're going to go. You're just going to tuck it under like that. It's really easy. See? Just like that. And then you're going to sew that edge on the very edge of the hem of this fold. And then after you're done, you do it to the other side, this side. And then um, you move on to the next step. So that is the end of part two for um how to make aprons also sorry for taking so long to post this as you can see i filmed this in uh, during like thanksgiving time and now it's valentine's day so anywho see you next week for part three and then we're done with this and then i can move on